the country's leading psychologist has accused most psychics of being manipulative charlatans. Mm, Professor Richard Wiseman has also called for them to be regulated by law. He joins us now live from Glasgow. Good morning, Richard. And what exactly are your concerns then? Uh, well, the situation is fairly terrible. We have around about 12% of the population going to see a, a psychic with a, a fairly serious uh, issue in their lives, like a career change or relationship issue. And they have no idea about the, the sort of psychological mind games that, that psychics use in order to convince them they know all about them when that isn't the case. And also, the psychics are completely unregulated. So it's not as if you're sitting against a, a sort of counsellor who's gone through some sort of training. You could be up against somebody who just doesn't know what they're doing at all. So it's, it's a fairly bad situation. Are you sure you're not just jealous because you can't see into the future yourself? <laughs> I, I wish I could, um, but uh, like most psychics, I, I can't. Um, and so in the, the new book, Paranormality, what I do is talk about all the various mind games that they use in order to convince the people that they really can do that. Uh, so, for example, mediums will say, oh, I'm, I'm getting an impression of a, a D, is it a Dominic or, or a Derek? And, and you've got to do the work in order to, to actually match that. And if you can't, they'll say things like, oh, I'll, I'll leave that one with you. Ask around members of your family. So you're doing the work for them, but people don't realise it, and, and it's, it's why the book has caused such controversy I think yes well this book um, you you say you can appear to be a psychic in six easy steps just talk us briefly through them well, I, I've spoken about the very vague statements there and the notion of outs, you know, where, where you have to do the work for them. There's also a lot of flattery that goes on. So, for example, the psychic will look at the tarot cards and say, oh, I, I can see you've got a, a lot of untapped creative potential. And, of course, we all like to believe that about ourselves. Uh, there's also the notion of a double-headed statement. You know, I, I get the impression that sometimes you enjoy going to parties, other times you're far more reserved. You want to sit at home with a book. And, of course, that's true of everyone at some point in their lives. So it's very important. I mean, if you went to uh, buy a second-hand car, you'd, you'd take somebody with you who knew about cars. Exactly the same with psychics. You need to know what you're getting into. It, but if it, if it brings comfort, is it really doing any harm? What, what's the problem? Well, I think the problem is we just don't know whether it brings any comfort or not. I mean, unlike a normal counsellor who will give you the tools to solve, hopefully, the problem you've got right now and, and problems in the future, psychics don't do that. They give you straight advice. They say, this is what you should do, and if you have a problem in the future, you have to go back to them again so people can become reliant. And also, with a medium, I mean, part of bereavement therapy is moving on in your life. The mediums are saying, no, 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 this person is still in spirit and it can keep you trapped essentially in the past. So we, we don't know these people are bringing comfort. It's quite possible they're actually not helping their clients at all. But is there, have you ever met anybody who's given you cause to doubt, think, blimey, I think this, this fella can see into the future a bit. Has, has that ever happened to you? You know, I, I would love to find um, somebody like that, but I, I've tested lots of psychics over the sort of 20 years or so that I've been researching this, and it's always the same. The anecdotal evidence is very strong. All their believers say, oh, my goodness, you've got to test this person. They, they really are the, the real deal. And as soon as you get them into the lab, you do a properly controlled test, suddenly that claim crumbles. And, and so the call really today is to say, look, people need to know what they're getting into. Obviously, they can go along to a psychic or a medium. That's up to them, but at least find out the other other side of the story because often that isn't out there in the newspapers or on, on television uh, often the media are very um, pro telling people this stuff is true when actually there is another side to the story okay we talk to you later well thanks Richard